Hi, I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. I'm here in southwestern Florida where last fall Hurricane Ian hit, causing 169 fatalities and billions of dollars of damage. Wells Christian Aid and Relief, along with Builders for Christ, is here, helping congregations and members and communities to rebuild. Cindy and Jim Smith are members at Bethany Lutheran Church in North Fort Myers, Florida. They've experienced several storms during their 20 years of living here in Florida, but nothing like Hurricane Ian. At that moment, it's, let's load up, we gotta get out of here. You're worried about your life, you don't even care about this. As water was slowly overtaking their home, they knew they needed to get out. So they jumped in their truck and rode out the storm at higher ground. They were safe, but when they returned, they found that four feet of water had invaded their home. When I opened the door, the water inside was still waist deep. And everything, you know, inside your house is floating. It, your furniture is floating. Your shoes are floating. The garbage that was in the trash can in the kitchen is now floating. So uh, it, it, it's not even like it's your house. It's, it's like some weird place that you've never been before. Nearly all of their possessions were tossed to the curb and their home gutted. They've been living in their camper ever since. And this tragic reality isn't just experienced by Cindy and Jim. All across Southwest Florida, Ian was responsible for varying levels of water and wind damage to infrastructure, homes, and other buildings, including a handful of Wells churches, where volunteers have been hard at work for weeks. We've been here working on um, all kinds of relief efforts. In the past couple of weeks, really been working on demoing uh, drywall that got wet, carpet that got wet, ceilings that got wet, insulation that got wet in our congregations, and preparing for roofing projects, and uh, also looking at the homes of members that have been damaged and trying to find out what help they need as well. Local and visiting volunteers, supported and coordinated by district leaders, Wells Christian Aid and Relief, and Builders for Christ, have been working hard to repair damage and relieve suffering. We need to proclaim the truth and proclaim God's love, but we also want to live that love. And so um, compassion ministry is a natural outflow of the, the truth that we hold so dear in God's words. I enjoy being a servant of Him. And this is how I can do it. I, I'm not able to, to preach or become a, a teacher, but I, I sure can um, reach out in the communities and, and spread the gospel that way. Hurricane Ian no doubt caused catastrophic physical damage and emotional hurt for many people. But in these darkest of moments, Christ's light shines the brightest. Even in the darkest of tragedies, we have hope and assurance in our Savior's love and promises. When we're helping people in a disaster, is, is not just get the physical stuff done, but remember the people. If somebody from the home you're working on engages you in conversation, put down your chainsaw, put down whatever, and talk to them, and listen to them. And from those, those conversations and those listening opportunities come all kinds of opportunities, obviously, to, to talk about Jesus. These are ways that God squeezes us to draw faith out of us, to help us see what, what really matters. God allows challenges to come in order uh, for us to, to see, hey, this world is, is going to go away, and then what? And we have a unique answer to that, the, the one true answer to that that scripture gives. It's Jesus. Sometimes when things like this happen, you doubt God or you get mad at God, but... He's there. He's there. Faith allows me to say, this is a bunch of stuff. It's not important. Uh, the things that are important are still there. Uh, my wife is still here. Um, you know, everything we need 
we were still given. So I, I believe my faith lets me, that's how I deal with it. I can lean on my faith. God's there and he's looking out for us no matter what we go through. I'd like to take this opportunity to relay the thanks of your brothers and sisters here in southwestern Florida and to extend my own thanks as well for the generous way that you've supported this work with your gifts of faith and love. It's with gifts like that that we're able to do this important work and to show Christian love to our brothers and sisters in need.